As you may have heard recently, there's been a lot of buzz about ChatGPT, a cutting-edge language model developed by OpenAI. ChatGPT has been making the waves in the AI community for its ability to generate human-like text and hold engaging conversations. Now, what you may not know is that there's a feature called AI Command Search that is created using the same technology as ChatGPT. With AI Command Search, developers can simply type in a natural language question or request and the system will provide the appropriate terminal command. So one quick example is if I typed in, which shell am I using into AI Command Search? It would be able to generate the command I need to run the answer to that question. We built AI Command Search to help developers streamline their workflows and save time on hard to remember terminal tasks. So for this video, we scour the internet to help bring you a selection of the best examples of how to use AI Command Search and how it's being used in the real world by real developers. We'll cover applications like version control with Git, file management, and scripting, application development like cloud commands and package management, and end on some more fun and creative ways you can use AI Command Search. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start off, a lot of developers who had tweeted about AI Command Search in the past love to use it to help with remembering Git commands. The reason is probably because Git has a bunch of flags and options that can be used to customize commands. So with that many variations and options, it can often be hard to remember the exact syntax of each command. That's where we found AI Command Search came in handy as it helps developers find the right Git command for their needs by using machine learning to understand the actual context of their search. So here are some examples of where developers found it especially useful. How to create a Git repository. How to count all commits in a repository. Git undo. Rolling back 10 commits. Changing the last local commit. How to display the last 10 commit authors. Adding a new Git submodule. Removing all instances of my private key from a Git repo. So by providing relevant and accurate results for a wide range of Git-related tasks, like creating and managing repositories, rolling back commits, adding and removing submodules, and removing files from a repository, AI Command Search can help developers be a lot more productive and efficient in their day-to-day -day work by saving them the pain of having to search through documentation or remember the exact syntax of command. We also found that AI Command Search was a popular tool among developers for file management applications. So some common tasks that developers might need to perform include counting the number of files, extracting contents from a zipped file, looping over files of a certain type, filtering duplicate files, and making copies of directories. AI Command Search can help with these tasks and more, so here are some examples. Counting the number of files and grouping by extension. Counting all files. Untar a zipped file. Loop over all JPEGs in a folder. Filter duplicate files. Creating copies of the source directory. Creating an empty CSV full of names in the current directory. Finding files that contain a certain name and then change last week. Counting all files and ignoring hidden. Looping over folders and creating an empty git keep file if the folder is empty. Prefixing all JPG files with a certain string. Removing the password from a PDF. Copying a file from a remote system. And downloading Seinfeld. So as you can see, AI Command Search can be incredibly useful for automating and streamlining various file management tasks. So whether you're working with a small number of files or need to perform actions on a larger batch of files, AI Command Search can really help make that process efficient and save you some time. We also found that a lot of our community members tend to use AI Command Search for application development, all the way from maintaining and updating applications to testing and designing the user interface. So for example, for package management, you can ask AI Command Search how to remove React from your NPM dependencies or reinstall YouTube with Brew. For cloud-related application development, you can generate commands for things like a new Docker image, a command to check your pod status, or create a new digital ocean droplet named Foo. 
And for HTTP and API applications, you can ask AI Command Search how to curl a JSON endpoint. So as you can see, AI Command Search can be incredibly useful for a wide range of application development tasks and can usually help you find the right command to streamline your workflow. And finally, I think you can see that in this video that AI Command Search is a powerful tool for developers, but that doesn't mean that you can't have a little bit of fun with it too. So here are some examples of types of commands you could try just for fun. For example, you can type in, I messed up, how do I get a girlfriend, or what's your favorite snack? These aren't actual terminal commands, of course, but it can be amusing to see what responses AI Command Search generates when given these types of requests. It's usually a great way to pass time when you're waiting for a build to complete, and it's also a fun activity to share with your team for a laugh. We hope you enjoyed these examples of how AI Command Search is being used by developers in real-world applications, from version control with Git to file management and application development. Personally, I like to think about AI Command Search like having ChatGPT built right into the terminal, but either way, I hope you'll give AI Command Search a try in your own work. If you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to reach out to us on our social media channels or just through our website, or you can just ask your question in the comment section of this video. We love hearing from our community, and we're always looking for ways to improve and evolve our tools. Uh, and finally, if you liked this video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel for the most up-to-date content on Warp and the terminal in general. Until next time, happy coding!